No, I think this is something that, uh, that no one involved in it would say is typical. It's a uh, historic, you know, we haven't done military commissions in uh, about six decades now, so this is a historic uh, event. And everybody, at least on my side, is anxious to get into the courtroom and uh, get the process started. And we really think that uh, despite all the horror stories that have been told uh, by, by the other side, we think it's a fair process. We think the Military Commissions Act of 2006 creates a framework for a fair trial. And I think if you compare our rules to any other rules, whether you know, any other international tribunal, that our rules stack up uh, at least equally, if not better, than any other system on the planet. If you look at the people who have been released from Guantanamo Bay, if you had a UK passport, if you had a French passport, if you had a Swedish passport, if you had a Russian passport, a Belgian passport, a Spanish passport, even a Pakistani passport, you would not be in Guantanamo Bay. What is it about an Australian passport that can't get you out of this place? And what it suggests to me and to others is that the value of Australian citizenship has been diminished by this whole experience.